This is Drudge F551, and we're going to demonstrate why heat-sensitive buttons on older elevators, especially Otis, like the vanity fixtures, are dangerous to your health, especially if the building's on fire. That's because they use something called capacitive technology, in which it actually uses heat from your finger to detect if you're using the button or not. The other technology that is used is resistive technology. That is what's used on modern day Otis elevators as well as Schindler touch sensitive buttons that are used today. The resistive technology determines a change in resistance rather than heat. So if a fire happens, it won't call the elevator. Now we're going to demonstrate these two technologies here with my Flip Slide HD. The screen uses the resistive technology and the strip uses the heat sensitive technology. And we're going to demonstrate on camera what happens in both situations. Right here, you have the resistive technology. And I doubt I can get it on here, but if you get on a bright light and look at it from an angle, you can see dots and possibly a grid pattern. What happens is when you touch the screen, as you can see, is it's acting. When you touch the screen, the bars in the grid that have a higher resistance than the surrounding area pinpoints where you are pressing the screen. And it uses the grid array to figure it out. And of course, because your fingers are bigger than the grid, the larger the resistance, the more accurate the pinpointing as to where your finger is. Now, as you can see, as I touch it, it responds. Now, remember, this is resistive technology. So what I'm going to do now is introduce my Revlon 1875 watt hair dryer. And we're going to blow onto the screen. I've got uh, right next to the camcorder. Right here. As you can see, the only thing that happened is I blew the camera slightly to an, at a different angle. But as you can see, nothing happened. But when I touch, it works. Next up is the heat sensitive technology. On this camera, if it will cooperate in focusing, there you go, this slightly textured surface is heat resistive. I mean, heat sensitive. It uses body heat. This is where problems occur in an elevator. Let me get this in frame for you, right there. So you can see when I, if I don't bump the camera, when I slide my finger across it, it detects my heat. You just barely need to touch it. Now I'm going to reintroduce the Revlon. Now I'm not going to pull it away because this is going to happen pretty quick. Watch what happens when I introduce heat from the blow dryer. Here it goes. You see that? It's working right now. I'll play the video. Watch what happens. Elevators B. Westinghouse. Being modernized. See? I just stopped it. And I'll do it once more. See what happens? These are the BL. 
See, it's still hot. This is what happens when there's a fire outside of an Otis heat sensitive button elevator. As you can see, the heat triggered this button. On an elevator, it would call the elevator and you would be called to a floor engulfed in flames. Now, if somebody happens to be in the building is quick enough, they can trigger the fire service and you'd be okay. Or if it arrives to the floor, you'll probably be exposed to the flames little enough, hopefully, if they're fast, to trigger the fire service and pull you to safety. And that is a demonstration of why heat sensitive buttons are dangerous and why they have been replaced. I hope you enjoyed it.